Uh, so, Sanjeeva, the great nuances. Um, just to add, shed more light on the, the, the really subtle difference between sannyasi and yogi. In my processing, I kind of l- liken it to amateur and professionals. <clears throat> they're both athletes. They're both very good. They're both far better than I am as athletes, whether it's a basketball player or whatever. One is amateur, one is uh, professional. One, in a certain set of circumstances, amateurs are when the training and the coach and like all the conditioning is there, within those bounds, they're able to excel and do very well. Pros, professionals, you put them anywhere, you throw them anywhere, uh, they are the same, they, they will excel. Uh, one time I, I'll just share a, a actual joke, which didn't happen, almost did. I had gone to a sannyasi's discourse. Um, Keep in mind in the Gita, nothing is uh, negated, nothing is criticized, nothing is disparaged. That's not the tone, uh, intention of the Gita at all. In fact, sannyas is very highly regarded. Let it be very clear. Often sannyas comes, word comes in the Gita in one of the greatest ways of to respect. So sannyas is not, but yoga is taken far above that. It's, put, it's very clearly, also repeatedly put above that in different ways. So the sannyasi during that time, this was years ago, Madhvi and I had gone in Fairfax here, um, a, a known and a obviously honorable, respectable one I would unhesitatingly do pranam to any time, uh, was saying that, you know, like this was years ago, before I guess they were in their own practice, they were also growing, that, you know, what would you know, you as in all the grihasthis, we were all householders sitting there, married and the car and the kids and all of that. Ek wa Hindi mein tha, sannyasi ban ke dekho, phir pata chalega, kaise kaise kasht sahne padte hai, kya kya karna padta hai, kaya se bojan kaise aaga, ye wo. And everybody was super impressed, obviously, ki nuya kar, what would I know, sannyasi, I could never live like a sannyasi. And I had such an itch to say, sannyasi, Prabhu, grihasth ban ke dekho. <laughs> Oh, I, it took all of me to hold my mom. Do bache bana ke dekho. Phir pata chalega kya kya nahi karna padta yaar. Kaise kaise karne padte hai na. So the yogi is neither a sannyasi nor a grihastha. Yogi is both. Yogi is who can at any time be both and can either be in grihastha yet like a sannyasi and having let go. It, it does not require whether on the battlefield or in a yagya shala the same execution excellence uh, when it is there and it only comes with like I say purity of intention leads to flawless execution so the intentions are so purified of a yogi that no matter where no matter when no matter with whom how the intention there is only purity therefore it doesn't matter whether I'm supposed to worship this person or chop his head off uh, either for upholding the integrity I'm worshiping this person at the feet uh, and crying and, and smearing the dust on my forehead to uphold the integrity of the goodness and I am unhesitatingly chopping the head off so that dharma may not uh, die, right? And that's a yogi. So this cuts across boundaries of whether you're married or not, whether you left your home or not. It's a disregarding that. It's the inner state of mind. It's the intentionality that defines a yogi, not the particular ashram that you're in or how you, or what type of, you know, like varna ashram you are in versus sannyas is a particular ashram. They do draw lines. Sannyasis do. They are, of course, boss, they are worshipable. Any day you bring a sannyasi and you'll see me lying flat on the, on the ground in front of them. No question about it. I don't know in a sannyasi who do that to a yogi though. Sannyasi, so, you watch carefully. They do, they will bless, but they don't easily bow down in my observation. They will not find it very easy to just fall flat. A yogi will, unhesitatingly, because the distinction has gone. The distinction is still there, the boundary is still there in a sannyasi. The lines have been erased. The only one that there is, the only one who is in the sannyasi and the yogi and those who are neither, the only one. It's clear. It's chapter 6, Shlok 30, 3, 0. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I'll just refer you to that, um, which sort of epitomizes 6, 30. Um, so with that kind of clarity, 
um, Sanjeev Bhai, that the amateur and the professional, uh, the sort of getting there and the one who's there mm -hmm. is, is the goal, is the ultimate target. No?